Division by zero. Every school child knows that division by zero is not allowed. Adults remember this very well from when they were in school. Let's ask them why we can divide by any number except zero. The most likely answer is our teachers said so. But, but maybe there is a way to do it. As school kids, we broke many rules. I decided to understand it myself and explain it to you. First, I tried to do it on my calculator, but it didn't give me an answer and was without explanation. I tried to divide by very small numbers getting closer and closer to zero. 1 divided by 0 0.1 equals 10. 1 divided by 0 0.001 equals 1000. 1 divided by 1 million equals 1 million. 1 divided by 1 billion equals 1 billion. I started to understand that the smaller the number was I was dividing by, the bigger the result was. This is the reason why my calculator stopped the calculation. It cannot display infinity. But infinity doesn't follow the basic arithmetic rules. For example, 1 plus 1 equals 2, while infinity plus infinity equals infinity, and that's it. Infinity divided in half is still infinity. For example, if we take only even numbers out of infinity series of natural numbers, the result will be infinity, not the half of the infinity. So after dividing by zero, subsequent calculations are impossible. Let's try to move zero to the another part of the equation. For example, if we take zero multiplied by one equals zero. If we move zero from the left hand side to the right hand side, the new equation will look like one equals zero divided by zero. In the equation, zero multiplied by two equals zero. If we move zero from the left hand side to the right hand side, the new equation will look like 2 equals 0 divided by 0. In the equation, 5 multiplied by 0. If we move 0 from the left hand side to the right hand side, the new equation will look like 5 equals 0 divided by 0. So what should the result be? 1, 2, 5 or any other number that can be used as a cofactor. Now it's clear that the arbitrary rules would not yield success. Also it's clear that the arbitrary rules were prohibited. Mathematics is an exact science, therefore the result should be unambiguous and easy to check, no confusion. The division by zero is not acceptable. The other day one grown-up guy told that when he was a kid, calculators were huge heavy workstations. They were called rain metal. The German electromechanical wonder loudly and cheerfully hummed while making calculations. But when it tried to divide by zero, it broke down and needed repair. The prohibition seems to be reasonable. The collapse of calculator proved it. Let's take another example. Zero to the power of zero. It's a well-known fact that any number raised to the zero power is equal to one. It's also known that zero raised to any power equals zero. So what happens if zero is raised to the zero power? One or zero. Again, we get a very tangled situation as if we are trying to divide by zero. Yes, here we are. Ambiguity is caused by division of zero by zero. And it has been already stated that division by zero is not allowed. So we have to be very cautious with zero. It contains lots of surprise.